In March 2020, the world changed. Almost overnight, school attendance shut down. COVID-19 changed the paradigm of education as we know it, and for one moment in history, all educators were in the same boat, facing a storm we'd never seen before. The school year for hundreds of millions of students the world over hung in the balance. Teachers now had to deliver all their lessons online at a scale they'd never experienced. Technology and learning have always been connected, and online learning has been around for decades, but the global pandemic changed everything. No one saw this coming, and now the school year was in jeopardy of being canceled. But school years weren't canceled. In fact, against all odds, they succeeded wildly. Despite the obstacles we all faced, educators rose up to meet the challenge head on. Through our resourcefulness, our use of the right tools, and sheer hard work, we succeeded for students. These challenges we face were felt by teachers and students everywhere. There are countless inspiring stories of triumph during this period that we could all share with each other. And here are some of the stories that inspired us. Five individuals in different schools and districts in Asia, Europe, and North America with similar challenges. Here are their stories. The first comes from Eamon Fitzgerald, Education Services Technology Manager, University of Limerick in Southern Ireland. When COVID hit his university of 13,000 students, they were predominantly focused on on-site teaching. There was some online teaching in the supporting role, but the shift to online was, in the words of Eamon, significant and traumatic. In fact, they needed to scale up by 35 times to service the new demand. As Eamon went on to say, this is where Big Blue Button were so helpful. The user interface is very user friendly. This ease of use enabled us to move quickly so that we could get content online and get teaching. And now as we consider a new academic year, we're able to look at how to better engage, how to identify students that are struggling, and in this respect, Big Blue Button was very, very useful. It really came into its own because of its collaborative tools. It even said that taking the pulse of the class through polls and tools that come back to us immediately makes it even better for the lecturers to be able to respond in the appropriate manner. We are able to do that more effectively than with other platforms. Eamon went on to say that one of the things that made a major difference was when it came to calling in the goodwill and relationship with Blindside Networks to deliver. They came up trumps every time. It's difficult to express how much they supported our success. And now the words of Malte Dreyer. Director of Computer and Media Services at Humboldt University in Berlin, Germany. When COVID hit, the virtual learning environment was built to supplement the physical classroom. They weren't doing pure online teaching. On the one hand, there was something exciting about the challenge of COVID. There was a sense of innovation and excitement for both instructors and students. And as Malte puts it, trying something new and even allowing for failure, we were all in this together. By the second semester though, things got serious. Everybody needed it to work seamlessly, and managing it all was like running a marathon without end. But imagine in the middle of dealing with COVID, while completely creating a new way of delivering learning, to have the courts step in. In July of last year, in the middle of the pandemic, the European court determined that they'd be reinforcing restrictions on software applications that didn't respect European privacy laws. Overnight, big-name players such as Amazon, Zoom, and Microsoft faced a slew of restrictions. Malte says, doing what we do is not like building something at home. We're building a system to support tens of thousands of people. That was the hardest task. Data protection has to be 100%. There is no 90%. We needed to figure out how to integrate all of our systems so that we left no one behind. Open source was the only platform that supported the data compliance law. This is why Big Blue Button is so important to us they took a fresh approach to funding and now support upwards of 200,000 concurrent student users every day. And now the words of Eric Greenwood, Chief Technology Officer, Anaheim Union School District in California. We have 30,000 kids across our district and a very small percentage ever access their teaching online. The sad reality is that almost 70% of our kids come from underprivileged backgrounds. So when COVID hit, one of the biggest challenges we had was simply getting technology in the hands of both students and teachers so they could get online. 
And even though they'd been using an LMS for 20 years, only a handful of teachers were actually using it. Overnight, we switched to Schoology, and it became mandatory that 100% of teachers would use it. Think about that culture shift. Big Blue Button was integrated into Schoology, which was great, but even better was that in the middle of a situation like this, when we were faced with challenges, we were able to have direct conversations with the team at Blindside Networks. There was no trying to get help through a community board or trying to get an answer through a scripted tiered support system. We were able to have a direct conversation with Blindside Networks, providing us with clarity rather than ambiguity. That made a big difference. And now in Japan, we hear from Hiroshi Suga, Associate Professor at the University of Hiroshima. In Japan, our reaction to COVID-19 was later than other Western countries. This led to a relatively slow response in the education sector. They started to take it seriously from early March, and this resulted in a tough situation where the teachers had to start online lectures without any sort of previous training and development with students. Zero. Obviously, on-demand lectures initially didn't work that well. We needed a real-time online lecture system. Another problem in my university was that most of the students live alone with poor internet connections, mostly a tethering of mobile 4G networks. We need a system that consumes less bandwidth, or at least a system that allowed us to tweak the bandwidth consumption by ourselves. One of the biggest challenges we faced was trying to convince old-style professors scared of new technology to embrace what needed to change. This meant the ideal system needed to be rock-stable and intuitive to operate. While it still feels like my department's in the middle of getting things stabilized, we were able to increase the server capacity to support Big Blue Button because of issues in Microsoft Teams. The team at Blindside Networks was absolutely helpful in adapting Big Blue Button to fit my needs. And now we hear from Steve Meg, professor at Carleton University in Ottawa, Canada. Professors in the Technology Innovation Management Program have used online and distance learning for more than 12 years to complement classroom teaching and as a way to help busy professionals join classes when traveling. When the pandemic hit, those same technologies enabled students to continue their studies while social distancing and working from home. As Steve says, course delivery online is not just about using technology to teach and study remotely from home. Instructors need to innovate their teaching practices to ensure that students are actively and continuously engaged, not just logged on. We continue to use the remote collaboration system already in place, including Big Blue Button and Moodle, that were already familiar to our students and faculty before the pandemic. Big Blue Button is designed specifically around the needs of instructors and students. Features such as polling, breakout rooms, and shared notes engage students and enable collaboration and interactive learning. Online learning isn't going away, it's here to stay. Carleton University is where Big Blue Button was born as a concept, and they're going to stay our partners in the journey. These stories show us what's possible, that we're not alone, and that with the right tools, it's possible to deliver exceptional teaching during challenging times. In each of the stories we shared, Big Blue Button was their tool of choice. Born in a Canadian university classroom in 2007, Big Blue Button started as a response to the question, while online teaching technologies were available, why had there never been a teaching platform built specifically for teachers? Challenge accepted. Big Blue Button was created exclusively as a platform by and for teachers. We believe the community could trump profit, so we built it as an open source platform allowing users and developers worldwide to collaborate, together to continuously improve the product. The project brought competitors and developers together in ways that no proprietary software project ever could. This collaboration succeeded wildly, making Big Blue Button the most widely LMS embedded virtual classroom software in the world. And of course, it has all the best features teachers around the world love for ensuring their students get the best results. To learn more about the platform, to discover how Big Blue Button can help you achieve your goals, Visit the program's creators at blindsidenetworks.com. At 8.30 every morning, the world starts teaching with Big Blue Button, and Blindside Networks is there to keep those classrooms open.